Okay, so you're obviously watching this video because you put warp stabilizer on a clip and then you went maybe in here to speed duration to change its speed, so to slow it down or to speed it up. I'm gonna go 200% to speed this one up and you click OK and then you get this message. Warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. Or maybe you've changed the speed of a clip, so slow-mo or sped it up and you wanna add warp stabilizer, so you drag it on and you get the same message or you get something else that might pop up right here. Well, to fix that, it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna get rid of warp stabilizer off this one and this one, I'm going to change its speed back to 100 for now and click OK. So to change the speed of a clip, so slow-mo or speed up a clip that has warp stabilizer on it, whether you started with warp stabilizer like this one or change of speed, it's the same thing. All you have to do is click on the clip, right click, and then go up to nest, and I'm gonna name this one warp ST for stabilizer and click OK. So that's gonna nest this one, and I'll do the same thing over here. Click on this one, right click and nest, and I'm gonna call this one slow-mo and OK. And you'll notice over here that you will get these uh, kind of nested sequences over here, so the slow-mo one and the warp one right here. And then all you have to do is do what you did before. So right click on this one, go to speed duration, put it to 200, and now it will work. Boom, and then this one, now that we have it uh, slowed down and nested, I can drag warp stabilizer on, and we can see that it's now working over here. And that's it, that's how you apply warp stabilizer and change the speed on the same clip.